What's it say that we got? <gasps> What's a moon with wand? What? What is that? Hey, how's it going? The last time we became alpha of the wild fangs, but now we have Orson in our family. We want him to become alpha of the Moonwood Collective because I'm interested to see what else you get there. There's also some cute toddler clothes in the cast system that we have to check out. I heard there's a wolf onesie. This is exciting. And there's actually more lore in this game in the books. I got to read more werewolf books and within the descriptions of the build by object. So, so let's check out some of that stuff. Let's go. All right, first things first, I did update Hunter's wardrobe. So let's take a peek at some of this stuff. Right now he's giving his dad like a, uh, leave me alone. Oh, he's about to throw a tantrum. How about we just change some clothes? This is what I wanted to see. Oh yeah, angry wolf. Look at that angry wolf. What a big angry wolf. Oh man, this kid's about to throw a tantrum. Oh, and now they're happy. Oh yeah, check out that little howl. Oh, oh. The whole family's going nice. All right, so Journey is reading the insider's guide to being a werewolf and this passage came up. Some werewolves think that they want to have a go at life alone, but it's often not the easiest path. Werewolves naturally find pack behavior satisfying and packs offer support in ways you may not have ever considered. From managing fury to sharing resources, it'd be a shame to miss out on it all. They're also a great place to find a fated mate. That once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, we found ours at the library, so I'm not too keen on finding one in the pack. This passage says, if you're having trouble sleeping, you're not alone. Most werewolves struggle to rest well when the moon is looming overhead. Make sure that during the new moon, you're getting as much rest as possible. 99% of werewolves report that they feel most rested after sleeping during a new moon lunar phase. So now we're reading uh, the history to Moonwood Mill. It says, non-werewolf sims seeking occults and answers have visited the town for decades and even more and even more come looking for a cure to the werewolf curse. Moonwood Mill might in fact be the singular location of the cure ingredients may be acquired. Moon Puddle? When mixed with wolfsbane, the effects are quite potent and have been known to remove the curses upon consumption. Journey has learned how to make wolf be gone for another passage says, all along this page are magical moon glyphs. With her lunar epiphany, Journey is able to read about a, a group of spellcasters who communed with their dog familiars to learn about the untapped magical potential found in moonlight. They declared themselves mooncast and experimented with unstable transformation magic from the untamed school. Okay, I, I just read this too. The history of Moonwood Mill is actually written by Maria Volkor. Though few sims have heard of the small town of Moonwood Mill, this book is recognized as the world's go-to source of information on the topic. Naysayers argue that its accounting of history aren't entirely accurate, though these individuals also cite curses and occult conflict and other magical elements as the true root of Moonwood Mill's origins. So we're going to keep reading this. All right, here's another passage. Records show that the Luna fish originated from the Crescent Lake beneath Moonwood Mill's overlook, also known as Howling Point. The fish itself is infused with moon energy, hence its name. This magical species of fish was created in the spell casting overload during an untamed moon casting ritual. Those who eat the Luna fish attain some of this fish's raw energy is said to increase athleticism and sat your needs. Orson learned how to make grilled Luna fish. I feel like I've read that one before. Original settlers to the area were refugees seeking an end to the conflict that had been plaguing them. They sought a connection with nature and the moon. They came upon what's commonly called Moonwood's Howling Point today. The breathtaking night views and the crescent-shaped lake beneath both seemed good omens of their pursuits. Okay. Excellent! So Orson has now completed his uh, like tutorial beginning of becoming a wolf by changing his aspiration because before he was like some fancy dude. And I was like, well, I want to get some perks out of being the alpha of Moonwood Collective. So we're going to be... A missionary of the collective. So essentially this aspiration is to become the alpha of the movement collective. So let's go with this. Oh my gosh, there's so many things going on right now. Now that Orson has his new aspiration, let's go be alpha of the Moonwood Collective. The other thing I want to note is that winter, terrible time to play uh, because it's so cold out that you can't fish. It's all frozen over. So all dreams of getting that Luna fish were just thrown out the window until like few more weeks in this what is it a few more days and oh it's the first day of spring so hopefully everything thaws so let's talk to christopher and become alpha honorable brawl what's up christopher you don't want to fight me i think you do 
Here we go. Rawr. Get him. Fight him. I feel like this is a glitch. Like in all the alpha fights, the alpha just kind of stands there and I just like dust cloud around. So let's see if I win. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's not looking good. Nope. Come on. <sighs> Thanks. All right. I'm going to beef up and see what else we can do. All right. Orson is now an apex wolf. I think I need that because I need to have this alpha trait because he keeps losing the fights against Christopher. So alpha trait it is. Let's challenge Christopher again because now that we're apex wolf and we have that alpha trait, I'm hoping that this works this time. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Big fight. All right. It seems to be fixed this time where he's not just standing there. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Are we the alpha? <laughs> Tell me. Absolutely magnificent. Orson is now the Moonweed Collective's alpha, an official pack, uh... Oh, pack leader. It's just it's weird. Unique power over pack membership and ranks. Exclusive interaction with members of both packs and with their hangout tree. The Moonlit Fable wall clock has been added to Orson's inventory and also available for purchase. Here we go. My household is the pack of alphas. <laughs> no, we're not flirting with Christopher. I think my interactions are stuck. Decorate. Normal. All right, so we can make it look like a normal tree or intimidating. Um, is that supposed to be intimidating? I guess friendly. <laughs> All right, Christopher, what do you have for secrets? Anything good? My father and mother fought in the century conflict besides Greg, or Gregorus, as he was known. He's one of the oldest werewolves alive that I'm aware of. Maybe the oldest. He must be so lonely, but he nearly ruined what my parents tried to build here. They invited a lot of non-werewolves to the area and were building a special community when Greg returned and, well, you can see what it's become. Christopher, I got more questions. I've certainly had some run-ins with vampires. The closest was when I met Jacob because my parents knew about Vlad. I've always been able to avoid him pretty easily. So Maria is his mother. I know that. So Maria knows Vlad. Were they friendly? Maybe not. Christopher, keep talking. My parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents were all talented spellcasters who fought during the century conflict. Me, I was born a werewolf. My parents were some of their original mooncasters. I've always been proud of that fact. So he is telling me a lot more. Is it because I'm alpha now? I've always loved how the night sky seems brighter during the full moon. It's romantic, really. Oh, it's almost Hunter's birthday. Anything else, Christopher? Your personality as a sim affects your temperament as a werewolf. We're like anyone else, just a little more extreme. That's not always a bad thing. Strange things happen to Moonwood Mill during a full moon. It's one of the best times to explore. It's also somewhat dangerous to be out and about. Maybe we look at the tunnels during a full moon. It's a few days away, so let's, let's pack that up in the memory and try to remember that. What else you got? I think it's unfortunate we don't have more non-were sims around. My, my parents dreamed of building a truly special hybrid community here in Moonwood Mill. It hasn't been that way since I was much younger. Oh my god, get him out of that high chair. My fury is gaining and I have to go talk to my pack. Where's my husband? Oh, there he is. All right, um, how about you repair a bunch of the stuff that I broke? I'm sorry about it because I have to go to my pack. If you ever want to know how to like lean on the hangout, you just click hangout on this. And that's pretty much the interaction you got here. Let's talk to Rory, because she is Christopher's adopted child. Oh, rat. So I'm sure there's um some lore there. All right, what's up, Rory? Ask to join household. No. Alphas who don't properly adhere to their pack's values are more likely to be challenged for their position. And if you're not the alpha, and if you don't follow the pack's values, you're likely to be demoted. Okay, so you can be re-challenged to not be the alpha. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. Anyone can be like, I challenge you to be alpha. As a werewolf, I don't always want to sleep at night, but if I manage to get some sleep during a new moon, I come out feeling well rested. It's really nice. Okay, everyone kind of has that same feeling. Whoa, why am I really angry? Dang, I'm angry because I have fury. That does not even make sense. All right, I'm back into the good graces of my own pack. So I'm gonna mark my territory and then we're gonna move on. I have enhanced smell now, sniff out treasure. So I'm curious about this one because I can do like enhanced smell and then maybe I can go in the tunnels and see if there's something in there. How about we do that? We're gonna go to the sewer over here. So we're really angry though, so it's great. So we're gonna do active primal instinct. 
Then we're gonna do regain control. Did that help? I can't explore it when I have fury. I'm furious. Best Sterling, not now. No, I don't want you to hang out with me. I'm angry right now. Ugh. Okay, the only thing I can do is run around and howl and break stuff. Okay, whatever. Tried. All right, how about we age up Hunter while our Fury just tries to go away. So let's make a cake. And I'm home. Furious as ever. Activate super speed. Yeah, there's a few things in here that I'm thinking may help me in the tunnel. I mean, but obviously not when I have Fury. Devour? No. Please tell me. I, I can't even eat the high chair. I feel like that's something I should be able to do. I'm gonna eat the couch. I just want to see what this looks like. Wow. Oh my. I ate the couch. I mean, that really boosted up my uh, my stuff. So let me eat the plants. <laughs> oh yeah. That's, that's extra wolf points there. What's this plate doing up here? All right, let me buy another couch, I guess. Probably shouldn't do that. I don't have as much money as I... I used to. All right, let's not eat this one. All right, well, since you're here, we're gonna add birthday candles. <laughs> the whole family's here, just mad as hell. <laughs> add birthday candles. The kid just took a freaking slice. I, I slaved all day to make that cake for your birthday and you just snatched a slice. You're getting a hamburger cake. My God, did he just walk out of here? Where's the cake? Did he just throw it out? Oh my God. I mean, I tried people, I tried. All right, with that being said, we're just gonna age Hunter up because uh, we've already tried to make two birthday cakes and one got eaten, the other one got thrown out. All right, I finally did it. We're gonna have Hunter blow out his candles so we can age up into a child. Everyone's here. Yeah. Here we go! One, two, three. Loves the outdoors. That's a good trait for a wolf. What should we do? Motor, mental, social, creative. Let's do creative. Uh, maybe mental? Sure. Smartest kid in school. Oh, Hunter looks cool. Look at him. He's sick. All right, let's see what you have for clothes, sir. Yeah, clean out your spoiled food. So we got two shirts here. We have like this little vest combo with the moon. And you got the little red riding hood motif with the wolfie on the back. I like that one. What colors we got in this? Blue, green, gray. Yeah, let's go gray. What you got for pants? Oh, it's got the tail. Oh my gosh, that's cool. There you go. Nice. We'll just put these on. That looks pretty good. Love your hair, man. You look good. Cool hair. This is his formal outfit. This is his athletic outfit. I like your little koi fish. He's cool. Oh yeah. Nice. Bathing suit. Hot weather. Styling kid. Cold weather. Excellent. All right. Very proud of my wolf baby who is now a wolf child. So now that he's a child, we need a regular bed. We only have enough money for this one. So let's move things around a little bit. All right, we're getting short on simoleons, so uh, we might have to figure something out. Some type of job or something. I did want to try out some of the perks in the tunnels. So I believe Journey has the most perks. She's sleeping, so we'll give her a second and then we're gonna go to the tunnels. All right, the first one we're gonna try is advanced smell. So see if you have that, you can see where like, kind of collectibles are. Underground, diverging paths. So we're gonna navigate the debris, the old mill. So we've seen this before, attempt to lift the wheel, old mill treasure. So we just got some energy drinks and a magazine. All right, bust in chamber. So we've seen this before as well. Diverging paths, we're gonna go towards the garlic this time. Garlic room, we're gonna go inside. Garlic heaven, we've seen that before. So we got Avelina's telescope again and some garlic. We're gonna leave the underground, okay. So I feel like nothing really great happened with, in with enhanced smell. So let's try to activate primal instinct. So now we're confident, let's go s explore. Underground, magical melody, finders keepers, which means we get something automatically, an onion. Excellent, enchanted room. Howl to the moon music, the enchanted secret room, room secret. What's it say that we got? 
<gasps> What's a moon with wand? What? What is that? Huh? Where is it? Oh, cool. Moonwood wand. Get back in there. I've never found the wand before. That's cool. Can my wolf use the wand though? I feel like only spellcasters can use the wand. Oh, I was like, why did we come back out? It's not. Go back to the melody. A wet dog. The tunnels are damp and Journey can't seem to escape the smell of wet dog that's everywhere. I've never seen that one before. Not that I know of. The magic in the stonework hasn't had time to recharge. Oh, interesting. A lonely howl. A lonely howl echoes through the underground, bouncing off the tunnels in every direction. Howl back. Always howl back. Deafening silence. After hearing the lonely howl, Journey howls back into the void. The silence that follows her attempts is deafening. Uh, towards the garlic. Why not? See if we can get another collectible. And nothing. All right, so they did say to try at the full moon, try exploring. So we'll have to try that at some point. We're heading home. Do I want to see the wand? Every time I come home, something's broken. When I say something, I mean like everything. Are werewolves just like hard on stuff? Sudden cravings. I gotta eat something. Eat this rotten cake. Oh, I forgot. The clock. So let's see this clock. That's pretty cool. Can't do anything with it except put it in our inventory. And then we also got the Mooncaster Memento. Who is that? Is that Maria? Energy failed. Oh, he passed out. I was like, what do you mean energy failed? That's okay. You take a nap, buddy. While I'm trying to fix everything in our lives. Oh, come on, Hunter. He can howl, sing. Is there any other cool things he can do? Can he play guitar? How about you look at the moodlet thing? You tell me if you see anything. No? Can the kid eat the pedal? No? All right, let's look at these two objects descriptions and then uh, we'll see what's going on. For some reason, I'm not getting like the descriptions in my regular inventory. Mooncaster Memento. This antique metal piece has delicately engraved plate attached to its base, which reads, As powerful missionaries of the moon, we have a duty to serve not just those with fur and fangs, but all who bask in the night's gentle light. We are sims first and foremost, not beasts. We must exercise control over our duality and foster a more inclusive community. Maria Volkar, founding leader of the Moonwood Collective and original Mooncaster. So it is Maria on this. That's nice. So we're getting a little bit more about Maria. How about this clock? It says Moonlit Fable Wall Clock. There once was a group of spellcasters who feared their vampire attackers. In the moonlight, they swore to bear weakness no more. So they so they bore fangs and fear thereafter. So that being said, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. We became Alpha of the Moonwood Collective. Finally. So our household has the Alpha of the Wild Fangs and the Alpha of the Moonwood Collective. Very interesting dynamic because it looks like there can be rivals between the packs, which is interesting. We got a few new collectibles. We found a Moonwood wand in the tunnel. That's really cool. I, I want to look more into that because I wonder if the werewolves can use this or do you have to be a spellcaster? Hmm. Our toddler did age up into a child, so we're that much closer to seeing our first transformation as a werewolf. And yeah, I think we need to find a job though because we need some money. And if you like today's video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any more werewolf content coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!